Hey, Trevor here with Electric Service Center. Today, I'll be showing you how to unbox and set up your new XP Lite for its first ride. We're gonna need a few things. A box cutter. A side cutter. A crescent wrench. A three millimeter Allen key. A 2.5 millimeter Allen key and a bike pump. First things first, we're gonna unbox the bike. For this, you'll need a knife or a box cutter. All right, and we're gonna use your box cutter to cut the tape across the lid. There's gonna be staples, but that's all right. You're just gonna lift. Now we're gonna pull back the cardboard tabs, which reveals to us our bike. The first thing we're gonna do is locate where the electric charger is and pull that out of the box. The charger will come in a box like this. We can put this to the side for now. If you have a friend, now would be a great time to ask them to help you pull the bike out of the box. Thank you, Tony. Let's continue our unboxing by grabbing your clippers and removing the foam packaging material by cutting the zip ties. Make sure you do not clip the black zip ties. You'll find your keys on the rear light plate. Now that we have removed all the packaging off your new XP light, let's begin to assemble it. First thing we're going to do is fold up the headset stem and snap it into place. Once you've done that, take your headset and insert it into the tube here. Make sure that it goes past the minimum insertion point right here. When tightening, make sure it's just tight enough to leave an imprint on your palm. Now's a good time to grab your keys as I'm gonna show you how to insert and remove the battery. I'm going to adjust the position of the bike to easily access the keyhole, which is located here. Your battery has three positions. Currently, it's in the off, unlocked position. Take one turn to the right, and you are in the off, lock position. That brings the pin out and locks the battery into the frame. One more turn and you are in the locked on position. Pin is out, locked into the frame, and the key is in alignment with the frame. Now we're ready to unfold your XP light. When locking the frame into place, make sure you hear the click of the latch going in place. Perform a pull test to make sure your latch is secure. Now we're gonna fold up our stem latch. We're gonna lock it in place like so. Here we have our display and our button pad. Your button pad has three buttons, the plus, the minus, and the power button. To turn on the display, we'll hold down that power button for three seconds. At the top of our display, we have our energy bar. Directly under that, we have your speedometer, under that is our pedal assist. On pedal assist zero, you get no assistance from the motor. This has five levels. On pedal assist five, you'll get the most assistance. On one, the least. Below that, we have our odometer. This measures the mileage of the bike. Your throttle is activated by twisting here. The throttle will not activate the motor unless you're on pedal assist one through five as such. Now that we have our bike powered up, let's go over the pre-ride safety checklist. First thing on the list, let's check the tire's pressure. Before inflating, riders should make sure that the beads of the tire are in alignment. We will now remove the cap and insert our pump. Make sure to lock it into place. Now that we've pumped up the tires to the recommended PSI, let's make sure that our brakes are adjusted properly. When pulling the brakes, make sure that the brakes do not go fully to the grips, but also have a fair amount of resistance. Squeeze both brake levers and move the bike back and forth. If the bike is not moving and locked in place, that's good. If your brakes were not catching, let's adjust the barrel adjusters by bringing both out and tightening the bottom one 
back down. If your brakes are still not catching, let's adjust the barrel adjuster down by your caliper. We recommend taking your bike to a bike shop to get the brakes adjusted. You can find a local bike shop that has been electric approved under the support tab on our website. Now that our brakes are adjusted properly, let's use our three millimeter Allen key and adjust the display hardware. The display Allen bolts are located on the clamp below. Adjust the display to your liking and use the three millimeter Allen key to tighten the screws. When tightening, don't over tighten Simply screw them on to where they're snug. If you need to, you can also adjust your button pad by using a 2.5 Allen key. These screws in the same location on a clamp below. Tighten to your liking and you're good. Also, use a crescent wrench to ensure that your axle bolts are tightened. Check the condition of the chain to make sure it's clean and properly lubricated. Next, let's perform a visual inspection of the bike. If you see anything damaged or out of the ordinary, please don't hesitate to call our team. Let's move on and check the lights. Press and hold the plus button to turn on the front and rear lights. Let's make sure that your handlebar stem folding latch is closed and locked. Check that the handlebar stem is inserted past the minimum insertion point. Then ensure that the handlebar stem quick release is closed and tightened. Let's check that the seat post is inserted past the minimum insertion point. Also, let's make sure that the seat post quick release is closed and tightened. If needed, open the seat post clamp and tighten the adjustable knob. Make sure that the seat can't be twisted out of position. Check that the frame folding latch is locked and secure. Then check the pedals to make sure they're unfolded and locked. You'll find your electric charger and owner's manual inside of this box. To charge your battery, you can either one, keep the battery inside the bike and use the port plug hole, or two, you can fold your bike remove the battery and charge inside. Your bike's battery will take around three to six hours to fully charge. Once fully charged, the charger will shine green. Your bike has five pedal assist levels, each with a different speed that it will keep you at. Pedal assist one will keep you at a speed of about six to seven miles per hour. Pedal assist two will keep you at a speed of about eight to 11 miles per hour. Pedal assist three will keep you at a speed of about 11 to 15 miles per hour. Four will keep you at a speed of about 15 to 20 miles per hour. And pedal assist five will keep you at a speed of about 17 to 20 miles per hour. To register your bike, go to bikeindex.org and input the serial number that is found directly above the mounting points on the front of your frame. Great job on setting up your brand new XP Lite. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer service team at 602-715-0907. Welcome to the electric e-bike family, and always remember, wear a helmet.